one word, how can you describe Mr. Wiley's exhibit? Spectacular. I mean spectacular in the sense of both, obviously it's wonderful spectacular, but also in that it is kind of a spectacle. It's really large paintings, stained glass, sculptures, um, very over the top, very colorful, um, very provocative. So spectacular in multiple senses. So Kiyunde Wiley, he had his first museum exhibition actually ever in his life, and his career was at the Brooklyn Museum in 2004, an exhibition called Passing Posing. Um, and he's an artist that we have watched for, you know, for now a decade, um, and that we have been involved with in various different ways. He is very interested in complicating the ways that we see black and brown people, particularly men, but men and women, represented in the world, both the art world, um, art history, but also in the media and kind of popular representations um, that we see on either TV, the news, all the various places that we see people of color represented. I saw something in the New York Times, a piece about the show, and I googled some of the artwork. I thought it was really interesting, and I wanted to see more. So here we are. Um, I've seen documentaries on Kanye West, and I was really intrigued to um, just come and see his work. I think he's technically um, very talented, and he's very good at provoking um, questions about style and race and gender and um, society. So, did you enjoy the exhibit, and what in particular did you? Enjoy? He didn't sacrifice anything, like the background is as important as the uh, people. The, my favorite one was the video of the smiling guys, which, you know, I just find it hard to shoot smiling black guys. So I just thought that one was, that resonated with me really well. The, the one piece that struck me was the piece about, um, that looked like Napoleon, they had, he had replaced an, uh, a, just a common person with a, the same pose that Napoleon did, and I just thought that that was very unique and different. I like the attention to detail that he had, and as my mom said, how all the vibrant colors played together. So I think that's what I like the most about it. There's this piece with this uh, a, a black man in a suit, a black man in a suit, and his hair is just wild and all over the place. I really couldn't uh, couldn't elaborate on what that was, but um kind of touched home because you know I'm one that has hair that locks and twists in, in ways that I can't really control. But he also had a bronze uh, of three women, I forgot what it was called, and I was bound and it was, I was, I felt chills. I'm not an art historian but I've got to think that this guy's got to be one of the most significant artists working right now.